Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about what they're thinking, feeling about you, how they view you or this connection, and what do they wish they could tell you? What are their intentions towards you? We'll look at all of that today for Virgo. So let's jump right in for Virgo, Spirit, Angels, Guides, Messages, Guidance, please, Insight for Virgo regarding love and relationships. What's coming Virgo's way in love? What's coming their way in love? Okay, we have indecision and action. So interesting. Maybe you're thinking about a certain decision that you need to make to take some sort of action here, but it's not easy for you to make this decision. This could also be your person's energy that we're looking at here as well. So flip it as it resonates for you. What else for Virgo? What is coming their way in love? What is coming Virgo's way in love? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. Divine timing. So perhaps the fact that you are undecided about something, the fact that you don't know which action to take, um, it's because maybe there's a waiting period here that has to take place, or maybe things just haven't worked out until all of a sudden they work out, because that's how kind of spirit likes to work. What else? What else is coming their way? Taking action again. Yeah, there's definitely something happening here, Virgo. You're gonna be making some sort of move, going after something. Breathe in. Can I get one more for Virgo? What else do we need to know about what's coming their way in love? Someone could be taking action towards you as well. Inner voice and breathe in are telling me that spirit might be speaking to you. Um, your intuition needs to be very strong right now. You need to be kind of aware of any signs, synchronicities, things that you see in dreams, messages that people might be giving you and you don't even know that they're spiritually, you know, guided. But I feel like your intuition is, is, is kind of helping you make some sort of a decision here to take action. And this could have something to do with um, a long-term commitment or this is kind of where you're headed. You know, whatever action this is, it kind of leads you to a long-term commitment. So we'll see what else comes out with the tarot. But I find it very fascinating. You got these two cards, breathe in and inner voice. Almost like you're processing what you're intuition is guiding you on or you're processing the messages that you're receiving okay so let's see what else what else for Virgo? i have a new deck that i'm using today this is the chrysalis tarot and it took me forever to finally decide to use this deck because it is very different like i would not recommend this deck for beginners you know people that aren't new to tarot but I love the pictures and I love the artwork and it kind of speaks to me. So we'll see how this deck works. All right, Spare, what is coming Virgo's way? In love if I could just shuffle. What is coming their way in love? We have the Hangman Reverse, Knight of Wands Reverse, Page of Wands Reverse. Okay, yeah, there's it's almost like something hasn't really started or taken off here with Knight of Wands Reverse or Page of Wands Reverse and the Hangman Reverse. Um, all of these three together are telling me that there was probably, um, I'm picturing someone who's kind of trying to take, this is so weird, but I'm picturing someone that's trying to take off like a pair of jeans or pants and you're just kind of trying to take that last piece, you know, you're like hopping around in your room trying to like untangle yourself from your pair of jeans or whatever sometimes I get the weirdest messages but the message is clear it's almost like someone's just trying to get rid of that last piece or that last entanglement or that last thing that keeps them kind of stuck we have the knight of swords and this is the nine of swords so something's definitely coming in quickly the knight of swords is the fastest knight in the deck in my opinion, the Knight of Wands is also very fast, but I think the Knight of Swords is like galloping. <laughs> so I think this is something that's, you know, there's two horses here 
fast movement, something coming in quick. It could be some sort of a message. It could be in the form of a letter, um, a call. Um, but the Knight of Swords is almost like a truth that is very blunt and very in your face. Sometimes it's information that um, is not delivered in the best way, but it's still true, if that makes sense. So we'll see what this is about. And finally, we have the Sun Reverse. Bottom of the deck, the Four of Cups Reverse. Okay, so I have a feeling that what's happening here is some sort of aftermath or there's there's been a fallout um so so you could have had a tower recently i don't think that this message is for virgos that have just been having the time of their lives recently i think this is for um, a virgo that has dealt with something difficult and it's still ongoing um maybe because things are wrapping up for you um nine of swords is here i think you're concerned about what's not happening but you're also concerned about what is taking place at the same time um let's get some clarity here tower as soon as i as soon as i open the deck here i have the tower and the two of wands i don't believe in coincidences so let's see what we have here for virgo spirit angels guys can we get some clarity please for virgo what do we need to know for Virgo? What do we need to know? Virgo, you're definitely, there's something, a uh, common theme here is action. Movement. Um, so we'll see what this is about. Let's start with the first row, because I think they're all connected. Can I get some insight on the Hangman Reverse, the Knight of Wands Reverse, and the Page of Wands Reverse? What do we need to know about these energies? What do we need to know? Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about these energies up here? This is definitely somebody that wants something. Yeah, Two of Wands. This is the same energy that we've already kind of picked up here. Um, there's action that you want to take. There's something that you want to achieve. Uh, the Queen of Wands, she's very passionate. She's very bold fearless um and also kind of eccentric in the in the sense that she doesn't just want what anybody else everybody else wants you know she's very like what works for me is it works for me and that's <laughs> i'm good with that um very creative energy as well they create realities the king of wands queen of wands at least for me as a reader i like thinking of them that way however they're not very good at um thinking about the details or planning or waiting they're not very good at being patient so they kind of just jump in with both feet i think what you want is something related to this ten of pentacles i have the ten of cups to the bottom here in the page of pentacles this could be finances related to finances related to career related to an existing commitment perhaps tell me about the ten of pentacles and there's a choice. There's a path that needs to be made. And I feel like a lot of you have dragged your feet here. What's this? Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups, and Justice. Yeah, so some of you could have had a some sort of difficult ending in a commitment or have experienced a difficult ending. Because, I, again, I feel like I'm reading for a Virgo who has had something happen in their life that is still kind of, they're, you're, you're dealing with the aftermath of that. Can I get one more for this Ten of Pentacles? What do we need to know? The higher font. So I think this is a long-term commitment, possibly a marriage, um, or this could be a symbol of uh, something that was done because it was the right thing to do, or someone felt that it was the right thing to do. Uh, Taurus energy with the higher font. The higher font is all about conformity, um, what society expects, doing the right thing, appearing like you're following the book, and um, you know, doing all, you know, following all laws and regulations. You know, the goody two shoes of the tarot. So I have a feeling that something here must have come to an end, and now you're trying to figure out your next steps. But there's, it's almost like there's something still keeping you from going fully after this new path. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Some of you, this is about transfer transportation. 
um, the Two of Wands, I pictured someone like waiting at a bus stop or waiting. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean you're on foot, but I'm getting the sense of someone like that's waiting for the vehicle that will take them somewhere else and it hasn't arrived. Three of Pentacles, maybe you need help from others. Maybe you need to collaborate with others. Maybe this is related to work, uh, a, ch a, sh a change in work, changing your circumstances regarding what you do for work. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck though. I don't like that energy. Queen of Pentacles after that, and then the Six of Swords. Yeah, it's like you're waiting for this Six of Swords to show up for you. Some of you, this could be, for example, these are just examples, but this could be that you don't have the money to move. Maybe you need help from friends or family now that you're out of a situation. And so you can't really start your life until you're out of, you know, this helpful cocoon that you're in. Okay, so let's see. Can we move on down here to the Knight of Swords? I think the Knight of Swords is very important. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Wow, Two of Cups. This is about a partnership. The Chariot at the bottom of the deck and the Wheel of Fortune. These two energies are very powerful. And again, fast movement. The Chariot moves very quickly. They are on a direction, on a path towards success. Um, cancer energy and the wheel of fortune changes circumstances is momentum when the wheel is turning i think the wheel is turning for you this is divine timing right here the wheel is turning in your favor i think it's going to help you with this ten of wands whatever this ten of wands represents for you yeah then there, there, there's a knight of wands so i feel like again this is the same energy i've been picking up on you want to be a knight of wands but right now you're way down tie down in some way feeling like you have a lot on your shoulders. Maybe you feel overwhelmed. And so you can't really, you know, this Knight of Wands has no wands on him. <laughs> Only he's carrying one wand. So very different from this 10 of wands here. You can't move so fast when you have all 10 wands that you're carrying. So I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is here almost as if to free you uh, or help you make this move uh, wherever you're headed. Now the Knight of Swords here is telling me that there's probably some sort of truth related to a partnership, related to a friendship relationship. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Seven of Wands. Okay, can I get one more for the Knight of Swords? What's going on here with this Knight of Swords? What's going on here? The Lovers, Gemini Energy, and the World at the bottom of the deck. So notice how the Seven of Wands is like someone resisting, fighting back. So I think whatever's coming um, with this Knight of Swords, maybe you were resistant to it. Maybe you don't really want to hear it. Maybe this is a truth that is necessary for you to stand up for yourself. This has to do with a relationship or a partnership, the Lovers and the Two of Cups. Now the Seven of Wands, if I were to see him here with these two, I think of someone that's fighting for love, fighting for um, what they want, what they desire. But the Seven of Wands could also be defending yourself against this so being resistant to this can i get one more for the seven of wands why is the seven of wands here king of pentacles mm. can i get one more for the seven of wands The Magician, Ten of Cups. Virgo, I feel like I'm reading for two Virgos now and I'm, okay, so let, let's look at this Nine of Swords before I continue over here. I just wanna double check what this is about. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. This is stress, anxiety, fear. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? This one. Okay, tell me about the Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Okay, the High Priestess. Virgo, um, okay, I feel like I'm still reading for two Virgos, but I'm getting a bit of a, a better idea of what's happening here. 
So someone is, and I feel this is you, someone's worried about this new beginning because I feel like their intuition is very different than what they believe they should be doing. So for example, if you were in a long-term commitment and you thought that my place is here, this is where I'm meant to be, maybe you ignored the truth about a lot of things, maybe you ignored red flags, maybe you ignored this inner voice telling you, you don't belong here, this isn't for you, you're meant to do something else. Um, I feel a lot of you are very scared about trying something new, maybe because you're starting from zero. I don't know if I've already gotten this message before for Virgo specifically, but someone else had something similar. Um, yeah, so in your 2022 outlook, there's big changes in love, doors opening. And then last month in the December, you and them, um, keep your eyes open. They can't be trusted. Great fortune awaits for Virgo. This is the push you needed. So I feel like this is just a continuation, most likely, of those readings. I think you know what you want to do. I think this is you manifesting, fighting for what you want. Possibly a soulmate, possibly a, a person, um, a, a connection. And however, this is tied to the Knight of Swords. So this is tied to information messages. So what I'm seeing here, some of you Virgos might be meeting someone new, talking to someone, exchanging messages, and maybe this is that push you needed to have this new beginning because to be with this new person, you would need to be free, independent of whatever this is. So some of you, this is someone new coming in, but there's stresses, worries about other things in your life. Or perhaps you're stressed out, overwhelmed over this new step you're taking. And all you can think about is, I wish I had someone with me. I wish I didn't have to fight by myself or do this by myself. Be very careful because the sun is reversed and sometimes the sun reverse could be like the moon illusions, things that are not very clear. So let's see what the sun reverse is about. This could confuse you basically. Tell me about the sun reverse. This could also be unhappiness, disappointment. So let's see. Why is the sun reverse? Spirit, why is the sun reverse? Why is the sun reverse? The eight of cups. <laughs> why is the sun reverse? Yeah, I feel like a lot of you if you're a Virgo that's not sure about leaving a situation, I feel like you've been ignoring spirits' signs to leave. You already know you should be leaving and you haven't left. And it's probably due to fear um, because the message keeps coming up. Is something's meant to end here. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, it's over <laughs> because Scorpio just had a reading about something meaning to end. And I feel like if you're dealing with a Scorpio, it's over. Something has ended or needs to end for you. Um, but I feel like a lot of you have been holding on when you should be leaving. And it's probably because you don't have the clarity that you specifically need, Virgo. And I think a lot of you, um, maybe the clarity you need is to know exactly how things are going to end up and you're not going to get that. Nobody can predict the future. We don't know what's on the other side of our comfort zone you know there's this quote what you want most is on the other side of fear so you would need to overcome your fear to see what's on that other side i feel like it's a knight of pentacles something where you can be stable again and be on a slow journey towards success again and stability but i think a lot of you are still stuck in making this decision indecision and action it's like you should be just going for it, but instead you're sitting there evaluating, focusing on the details, focusing on how scared you are of making the wrong decision. Um, sometimes you just have to go for it. Typically a Virgo is not a queen of wands, knight of wands, king of wands. I feel like they're complete opposites. I feel like you are this king of pentacles when you should be a queen of wands. So let's see what we can get about this other person that you might be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person that Virgo is, has, or will be dealing with? 
what do we need to know about this person that Virgo is, has, or will be dealing with? Some of you need to trust your instincts, trust your gut. Maybe you've been ignoring your instincts or your, your, your intuition for a long time. It hasn't served you because why else? I mean, why are you here if it has served you? Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about this other person that Virgo is, has, or will be dealing with. Two of Swords Reverse. This is so, this is funny. The High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Basically, Spirit is probably saying here, because if you look at these two energies, this Knight of uh, Pentacles is on this, on this particular deck, it looks like the Eight of Cups. Notice how she's like walking away and there's like stones here. And the Two of Swords Reverse is making a decision. What was difficult, a difficult decision someone has made. This could be that you're meeting someone that is walking away from something as well. Maybe they're walking away from their situation and maybe they've made difficult decisions that have led them to you. But I think a lot of you Virgos, you're not going to meet someone else until this is done. It's almost like Spirit is saying there is no one else <laughs> because you're still, you need to be free, independent, secure on your, by yourself. Do you know, I hope I'm making sense. And then the high priestess is at the bottom of the deck. She's shown up here. She's shown up here. She's up, she's all over this reading. So let me get one more for this other person. Can I get one more, oops, energy for Virgo regarding this other person, which for a lot of you doesn't exist yet. Can I get some insight for Virgo's other person? Can get some insight, please, for Virgo's other person. The whale. And then the lamb. The lamb is kind of like the high priestess as well in this deck. It's a, a messenger. It's getting a, a special message. And this could be in many forms. Let me look at the... Right here. Peaceful, prophetic, patient. The lamb is the bearer of an important message. Its contents can only be heard when a deep level of quiet has been established. It's the honest guidance you hear from an old friend, a child, or sometimes a surprising stranger. The wisdom resonates within you. It will repeat and reverberate until you listen. Truth is a gift. Sit still, listen, and receive. So the whale is someone that has a lot of depth, a lot of, um, uh, I guess you could say compassion and understanding um, because they've already learned a lot from where they have been. Um, it's like ancient wisdom, someone very wise, mature. I feel like your intuition is gonna speak to you at the right time um, when you've grown or matured or become wiser uh, due to everything that you've been through. This could also be the person that's coming into your life. They're becoming wiser as well. But it's very important that you listen to the truth of your heart. Listen to your heart. Listen to your inner voice. Listen to your intuition. It will not steer you wrong, Virgo. And I think sometimes we get so tied up in what should be and what looks right and what we feel is the right place to be and the right thing to do. And we forget that none of that really matters if we're not truly happy or satisfied or fulfilled. <clears throat> I'm, seeing, I'm speaking to a Virgo that is not fulfilled, that is not happy where they're at, that needs to leave because this cycle is over and they're hesitating. 